uh, not worth my time. Who would I rather sway? I think you might be a waste of time. You, however, you're 44, and I'm your heir. That's good. That gets me the land when you die. And you likely will die before you pop out any kids. Let's just make sure you're not revolting before then. Alright, excellent job winning that battle. Of course, uh, it was merely a distraction to ensure that my siege, the real backbone of this operation, would continue on. And then I'm gunning for the capital, see if we can't take the enemy commander. Although I don't like the way these guys are going. Alright, four whole ducats. What a windfall. And, to make matters even better, I'm actually doing war contribution here. A thousand and ten from uh, battle, uh, from sieges rather. Uh, however, I've gotten that bug of zero war participation so many times, and I haven't really seen it posted much in the Paradox forums either. So I'm a little worried that it's not actually very important. Oh, oh, oh! God, he costs a lot of money. Imprison him. Oh, but it might not succeed. Ah. I was going to force him to join me, because holy moly, 24 prowess at the age of 27. Oh, I could grant him a title. That would force him into my court, I think. Well, if I gave him a, a title that was under me, it would. I don't think it's worth it just for one night, though. Uh oh Speaking of not worth it, these guys did get better. And on they come. Yeah, it's going to be a slaughter, and not the good kind for me. Marry him into someone in your court. Ooh. Do we have anybody around for that? Yeah, I, I got... Oh, well, no, if we reset this. My courtier... will not accept... It's his own marriage. Age considerations? <laughs> That's putting it nicely, isn't it? Do I have any younger, better spouses for you? No, not really. No, probably doesn't like that possessed trait. Yeah, no. Candidate is lowborn. Right, so if I had somebody considerably less lowborn, we could make that happen for you, but... Um, I think they're all pretty low-born right now. A nice thought, but not happening. Just like this battle. This is not going to happen in my favor, because I'm defending in mountains, and... Uh, but not the good kind of defending in mountains. Alright, just get out of there. The commander was slain. Ah, oh, well. Just some low-born waste of space and time. Costing my poor allies some war score. Battles lost, minus one. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to happen. Off topic, is there a shortcut key to stop your army from moving in EU4? I don't think so. Alright. I should certainly go back and help. My 480 troops are definitely welcome by their 1100. But they should join me on the capital, of course. It's the way forward. At least we didn't get anyone uh, taken. Uh, you're no longer ill. Your prowess is pretty good. Now I can recruit you to court. Same amount. And he'll be happy for it. So welcome aboard. Ten rupees well spent. I should probably stick close to you. But at the same token, I should really get this siege going. Especially when they're far away from me. I really should consider getting some onagers though. Who's defending? Our advantage. They're okay. They have plus twelve from defending in mountains. I hope they don't join in. They don't. Sweet. But you know, I'm still doing the bulk of the work in this war. Of course, I just need to keep an eye on those guys so they don't come around and whoop my butt. <sighs> mm, they might be coming around here, and that might be a problem. However, this thing's falling fast. And it does take a wee while to wander around. Another knight. This one was 17 prowess. Rough terrain expert, no less. 
Uh, he's 25 to bring to the court. So much as I would like him in as a knight, I think I'll just pin him for now. Skill tactician, rough terrain. Sadism actually, actually adds to prowess. A sin, but the kind of sin I like. Anybody important here? Oh yes, yes there is. He looks awfully familiar. He looks quite a bit like me back when I had my knight armor on. I will go down and slaughter him once the siege is taken, because I'd love to have him in my prison. And then I can do horrible things to him. Has anybody found a way to recruit a head of faith? Have them subject to you in some way? Because that would be a gateway to some serious exploitation in the game. Yeah, it's looking good. Alright, come a little closer, why don't you? As soon as I get the siege done, which is actually probably going to give us a 100% war score. Damn! Oh well. But thanks to my massive war contribution, I actually get loads of prestige. I get a big, a huge opinion boost. Nice. Why do I not get that money, though? I want some of that money. Still, that's pretty good because we've just become distinguished. Next up is illustrious. And let's all just go home. Wait, we actually took a prisoner. You captured the son and heir. Ah, uh, but he was let loose as part of the peace deal. Damn, I should have uh, bargained him off as soon as possible, but the AI mashes that uh, enforced peace button as soon as they're at 100. Define subject. I have the Pope as a landed vassal and the head of my custom faith too. Right, then could you simply banish him and steal all of his money? Because that... He's got 880 now. Soon it'll be 8880. Slightly starved. <laughs> Chronic headaches. <laughs> Let me try CK2 and try it. Not CK2, CK3. Right. Well, not bad. Not bad at all. I'd still, uh, I'd still like these guys to be my knights. Wait, you are my knight. So I can unpin you. You, on the other hand. 25 ducats. I don't really have 25 ducats. Got ourselves a new lifestyle perk. I'd like some extra dread. I don't really want prowess. It reduces the risk of commanding armies. Yeah, let's just not take the risk to begin with. Organization, control in county, dread gains, siege progress, mercenary hire cost. That could be very useful. Uh, we'll just try and make our way down to Overseer then, so I'll serve the crown. There's some nice early ones that do encourage hopping between these, like Natural Dread plus 15 for a single lifestyle perk there. Seems really good. So just like that, our Natural Dread is 30, and it'll tick up. Tick up faster if I had somebody to kill. Hello, Sanatha! It appears that you're a low-born, unlanded nobody. I mean, I could torture you. Might discover a secret, but the cost of piety is not uh, not worth it. Same for killing you. It's unfortunate, but uh, I can't be doing that. Uh, whilst we're at it, though, I will negotiate your release. I'm actually going to recruit you and gain a hook on you. Why? Because then I could probably marry you off somewhere. I could try to marry you off somewhere. I just don't think... Uh, that you are going to be that interested in them. Yeah, not happening. What a shame. But you might still be useful to me, so we'll keep you around. They're already a vassal, the Byzantine Emperor. Mm, aren't we all? Right, not bad. I made myself a friend. Hopefully that friend will be able to do something for me. But on the other hand, maybe not. Your primary heir is this guy, right? Orthodox Greek. No. 
know, because you're the primary heir, there's no way they're going to accept matrilineal. Hmm. If I had some daughters to send off, I'd love to do that just to expand, but hey-ho. I feel like Jake would like raiding and forcing prisoners to be concubines. Hmm, I was raiding as perm. It's rough playing here. You have no technology. The land is dirt poor. And everything costs prestige. When you play as a tribal, it's like, don't worry, you can use prestige instead of money for things. And then you're sitting with 50 prestige, zero piety, and all the money in the world. You can't build anything. Made me just a little bit sad. Okay. Our own military strength is looking a lot better. You, however, are allied with a couple of folks, which is a shame. Same with you. Curse all these allies. And you've got a, a hefty military strength that I don't want to be dealing with. When it comes to my du jour, there's not a lot more of Naxus to take here, unless I want another fight with Kibi. And I do want another fight with Kibi. The problem is I've still got my truce with you until 73. But I will be taking this. No ifs, ands, and certainly no buts. So, so, so. Athens is such a tes uh, tasty, tempting target. Hmm. Couple of alliances that I'm not too keen on. I just don't want to fight someone with alliances that's going to get real messy real fast. That's where perhaps somebody like the Duchy of Thraxen uh, could come in. But it's not like I have many wars I can fight uh, myself. I could fight. Well, I could fight for that. But you must have some alliances, and not to mention the incredible cost of that. Bellum Juristum reduces cost, but... What's this claim on? The duchy. Oh, I don't want other duchies coming out. I need counts. Just kill the people creating the alliances. It's simple, isn't it? It's not like our intrigue is that bad. Hell, it's good. We managed to sway you. I'm going to keep on that, because I don't want you causing me any trouble. What's with you, though? Allied with Cyprus. But I don't fear Cyprus. Hmm. It would be a shame to have you uh, come to me like that. But it would also be quite nice if I held Thrace and Naxus. Because if Thrace were my duchy, and you kind of have two duchies without people getting a angry. Naxus and Thrace. Thrace is naturally an amazing province to have. Toppling you might be a bit of a pain, but it could be done. And, of course, the first step would be grabbing you. It might make the Byzantine Emperor himself a bit unhappy. But we also might not care. Your primary heir is that son there, who themselves have a grand daughter. Murder scheme not too easy, though. But here's the thing, right? It shows up as 28. If I suddenly assign my spy master to help me with uh, offensive schemes, jumps up to 41. Hmm. If they were dead, I guess the next heir would be the Basilius himself, so I'm not keen on that. Something else I wanted to check out was this. Uh, here's a temple holding. I don't actually get anything out of that. I suppose you have to make a new religion that allows you to seize these. Because if I take the county away, it's just going to go to another one, isn't it? I assume, because I think I tried this before and you just you don't get to have those for free for yourself. No, you'd get it, says Jagger. Really? Really, really? You should check your religion for what you have. Yeah, so here's Orthodoxy, the Pentarchy, uh, Fervor Per Holy Site. Well, we should have two or three of those. There's one, there's two. No, no, and no. So two out of five, not too shabby. What would I be looking at for that? Temple holdings are leased out to their holder's realm priest, who then serves as a theocratic vassal. Realm, police, realm priest is a Counselor in charge of religious and spiritual affairs. You have too much money. What if I were to imprison you? I don't have a hook, and oh my god, he's huge. And if he declines, oh, the patriarch will not be happy with me. Can I ask you for money, or is that only a pope thing? Ask for gold. 
You need uh, piety for it. I'm not, I'm not the most pious individual there is. You, on the other hand, I can't help but feel I could imprison you, banish you, and steal your money. Is that a correct way of thinking about things? I like to think it is, so let's sway you once we're done with our current target. Oh, we are pretty much done with our current target. Go on a pilgrimage for piety, Jake. Not a bad idea, but how much would it cost? Cost at least uh, 50. You know what, we'll do it anyway. Uh, these are all too expensive for me. So much for at least 50. Going to Pilgrim is no longer on cooldown for me, thank goodness. 100 is at least 50. No, oh, I can't deny that fruitful logic. In any case, I was looking to make somebody happier with me and I've already forgotten who it is. If I go here and look at my head of faith, which is you, I could sway you instead. Oh, goodness. It's unlikely, isn't it? Rank is lower. Head of, Okay, head of faith is hard to sway. Well, forget that then. But I still want to imprison you, so maybe I'll sway you instead. Act of tyranny? Yeah, when is it not? And, you know, you, you never seem to like me anyway. But I, I think, and I could be wrong, if I imprison you, then banish you, I get your money. I think. Do I have anybody else in my realm with too much money? Oh, Countess Maria has too much money. And I would be quite likely to, uh, to capture you. Of course, if I fail, they're going to rebel against me. And uh, the other guy hates me and will join in too. Your temple vassals are not paying tax. Look at the lower right of your court chaplain. <sighs> Ooh, right, yeah. Well, good thing I'm swaying you. Of course, they're probably not going to like me when I lock him up as well. The next one inherits the money, not you, says Soviet. Ah, okay, well, at the very least, swaying him seems like a good idea. But I'm very tempted to imprison you. Very, very tempted. My intrigue... Oh, there's a thought. If it's based on my intrigue, anything based on that, should I should definitely slam that on. And then suddenly it looks even better, because my own intrigue's shot up. Wait, was it? Did that actually change or not? Is it going up or not? Let's let's give it that another turn of the month and see what happens. Oh, looking at a boy here. No thank you. Well, it's at 85. That's not really what I'm looking for. You just you just get back out to helping me overall. I'm still tempted to imprison you, but a 15% fail chance is still a bit worrisome. It's changing your intrigue from plus 11 to plus 16, but it's not affecting the percentage for some reason. Yeah, okay, right. Let's have you on intrigue. Maybe there's a cooldown on it actually affecting? No, it's clearly not. It updates everything else. We'll give it a month or two, and then see what happens. Not endorsed by Bishop, working on it. It's, it's weird that that's under issues and not here. There's a mod that kicks them out here more, and I might look into that. Because I'm not endorsed, I definitely want to know that. I'm next in line to inherit this. Now, uh, there's a thought. If you were out of the... That was the whole point, though. You were meant to be out of the picture. I could always murder you, but people... People would have a thing or two to say about that, wouldn't they? Better off killing the kid and inheriting everything. Yeah, but I wanted her money. But she seems to have spent a bunch of her money. 
I could always imprison the kid using a hook. I actually get dread. It's tyranny anyway. I'll make you unhappy, sure, but um, I think it'll be okay. Whose hook am I even using? Oh, I'm using a hook on you because you are my nephew. And if you're my nephew, I'd be the next in line. Okay, at 46, surely you won't pop out any more kids. All of their family lose opinion with me. Yeah, but it's only 15. It'll go away soon enough. You can revoke the kid's title with the hook. That is also true, and it is also a uh, an act of tyranny, but it's maybe a softer act of tyranny. But yes, that's a great idea. I will... Uh, if he does come to power, I'll simply revoke it. And it'll be just as fast to do, because you'll be in power, right? Good. Oh, Athens grows ever stronger. Should I be worried? Nah. Who worries, anyway? If you use a hook, it's not tyranny. Even better, then. But I'm pretty sure imprisoning him is tyranny. Sometimes those tyranny things are really misleading. Is it tyranny? Is it not? Never seems to tell you particularly well. Right, I wanted this guy's land. I was thinking of making you make a claim on that for me, because I'd rather like it. Mm, you're allied with Cyprus, and Cyprus is not a concern. But I can't declare war on you just yet. Should only take a couple of years to get that claim as well. Lovely. Your liege is being invaded by 16,000 Seljuks. Nice. Well, that's okay. Weakening my liege will... Uh... Yeah, this is all just drama. Until it starts getting about here, then it stops being funny and becomes a different kind of funny. Hmm. Okay, the levies are still charging up. We got you. I am still tempted to get myself some onagers just to speed up sieges, but the cost... The cost. Increase opinion of Mayor Maximo. No, he hates me. What I need is him dead. Uh, are you a... Oh, God, he's a republic. He's a republic vassal. We don't like those at all. City of Andros inside my Naxus. Pay your dues, but get off my back. Wait, was I actually looking at the right guy? A Republic that yeah, there you are. Blah. Okay, well at the very least, we can get ourselves what was I looking at more? Soldiers of lesser fortune. Um Friendly territory levy reinforcement rate seems very nice, but mercenary higher cost reduction sounds awesome, so let's go for that. Get infinite tyranny and money tree is on the left of stewardship. I fancy going terror at some point with this. But the lovely thing about terror is you can have one really terrible guy who really strengthens the realm, then he dies and a much more popular guy comes in, who does not inherit all that tyranny, but does inherit a much better, stronger land. And I think that's a pretty solid way to play. I wanted to do that with uh, the Mile Schnachtai Dracula, and then have giant Dracula follow him, who's less um, less hated by everyone. But it didn't go that way, right? Make some kids, will you? What is taking so long? They're not even pregnant. Come on, you're meant to be super fertile. Well, the other one's super ugly, though. Limited crown authority, thanks to our liege, and I want high crown authority, but I can't do that until 86. That's a wee bit away. Costs prestige, but what doesn't? Sinful bishops. Always so many sinful bloomin' bishops. You sure you taught him how the deed works? I shouldn't have to. He's orthodox. He's Greek. We're being raided from high chieftain what's-his-face. You're over there. Yeah, but you're raiding Byzantium, not us, right? Yeah. <laughs> Armenia at that, so I don't particularly care. I sincerely doubt he'll come down to Naxus. I doubt he'll even get his money's worth if he comes down by boat. 
It's a real shame that you're so young and so angry with me. Hopefully you like my prede uh, not predecessor, successor a bit better. Otherwise, things look largely okay. <laughs> Lost all this because of Occupy. What, really? No, that's the... That's the this. There we go. Whoa, that was a lot to lose. Old man, you sure you should be in charge here? The Bishop of Naxus likes us quite a bit more. He now endorses us. That should vastly improve our levies and such. Uh, Duke Theodoro, neighboring vassal over in uh, Oopsie, doesn't like us, what a shame, but who cares? <laughs> Historically, Blurple lost a lot more than that. Yeah, well, they lost everything, but you know, Seljuks. Seljuks? Seljukids? Whatever. Sellies over there. They'll get what's coming. I like the RP factor of the liege losing a war and Jake questioning his rule. Look, I've won all my wars so far. Including the one I joined in on with my good friend, Prince Michael. I really... Oh, he's not going to be a friend of my son, though, is he? Hmm. Don't know what I'll do with that. Still, if I get here, that's my first stepping stone towards... Um, towards uh, Constantinople itself. Is it called Constantinople? Yeah. I still think of it as Thrace here. A brilliant idea to practice regrouping an army in disarray. Split my troops and ordered every officer to independently make their way to Naxus. Of course, by the third day of waiting and only half my army in place, I start to see flaws in the plan. Perhaps I should ride out and find the missing troops while the rest of the army returns home. This sounds dangerous. Let's do it. And whilst we're doing it, let's go on a pilgrimage. Um, long, long, long. Is anywhere very long? Hmm. How is Constantinople long? Yeah, I'm not seeing that, but... Let's go and check it out anyway. Time to depart and on our way look for those missing troops. Approaching a lake, I spot a camp pitched. My lord, our water stores leaked while on the move and our pack animals cannot make the march home without more water than we currently have. If the lord and his knights helped carry water skins, however... Desertion. Search will be delayed. It's only prestige, we have tons of that. On the march, welcoming me in the muddy street was Cosmas, the self-proclaimed divine guardian. The soldiers had laid down their armor to help him serve God. <laughs> gain stress because I am cynical, but I could gain back that prestige and then some. Lose theocratic. My theocratic vassal already hates me, though. Would you like to join me, by the way? Base reluctance just says, no. No, he will not. And I don't have a hook on the lad. That's a shame. You, you look like a pretty decent wanderer from some obscure house. It's true, though. I do rule by divine right. A little bit of stress is good for the body. Here's some of them from outside the tavern. Da 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 da. So you're responsible for this rabble. I'm not gonna pay coin for this. Well, we just got that prestige. Might as well spend it further. Why do I not have this barony? Wasn't I planning on revoking your title? Yeah, the problem is I can't. I need you to die, but. Uh... I'll find my way to get that, you scarred bugger. Foreign guards or divine protection? Divine protection is all man needs. And if I die, so be it. At least I have a son to take over. A son who can actually pump out some children, maybe. No, that's right. The game... Ah, oh, there we go. Pregnancy. Just what we need. Okay, order has been restored. 
Hardly a display of military brilliance. I'd get oh yeah, these are the guys we sent off on their back. And we get ourselves some perks going. Dread gain increase. Make it so. They made the Deur Kingdom, the Seljuks, get really small in CK3, Jake. In CK2, if they won, they get everything. All the way to Thrachesos and Nihia. Okay, well, we've arrived here. We get a bunch of piety. We gain Pilgrim. Yeah, going on, um, going on a pilgrimage seems like exactly what you should do. Pilgrim traits are uh, really good. Getting that extra piety. Getting that lump sum piety. It's all damn good. Also, maybe I can ask my head of faith for some dosh. A hundred ducats. You know, that pays for the trip. So, of course, you want to do that. And you end up with net piety out of it all. Here comes the refund. Excellent. It's good to be home. Maybe there's something else we can do. Like, how about that knight that I really wanted with the incredible prestige? Uh, not prestige, prowess. It's a bit less than I remember. You're not the guy I was looking at, were you? Regardless, I would like to recruit you to court for 25. And you could be my knight. And who was the other one? It's not you, I don't care about you anymore. But there was another guest I had. Court, guests, 24 prowess, an outstanding fighter. 30 years old, legendary blade master. But recruiting you costs so much, but just think about it, a 24 prowess knight. I gotta have you. I gotta have you. And then we look at our knights. You're forced to be one. You're forced to be one. You're forced to be one because I want you dead. Uh, whoa, what about you? You're just a regular knight, but that's fine. What about that? Uh, yeah, what about you? You don't like me. You're forced to do it. I have a vassal up here. Oh yeah, it's these Republic vassals that don't like me. Could be a great guardian for your kids as well. Might teach them how to fight and be possessed. Look, possessed is probably help him, helping him, if anything. My soldiers are almost maxed out, so I'm kind of missing out by not having more... Uh, more wars to fight. I could revoke your title. You would rise up. Would anybody join you, though? That's what I wonder. Because I still want that land, and I want it sooner rather than later. I'm not at my domain limit. Then again, I'm going to take this, haven't I? But I'm going to dish this out to one of my sons so he doesn't demand more land off of me. The roads, on the other hand, I want for me because it's part of Nexus. Hmm. But if you rise up, that means I have to re-siege uh, roads. Could take a while without Onagers. So let's f solve that problem. Also, if he rises up against me. Spy on that ra vassal in Rhodes. See if he can't find a hook. Now, that is a good idea because our spy master is currently uh, not finding any secrets right now. 20% chance is pretty low, but we'll give it a go. Might save us some bloodshed. Give us some blood to shed on something else like the invasion of this county, which is about to uh, require some money to fabricate the hook. What does debt actually do for you in this game? Because that I don't know. Enters into a mutual alliance with you. Oh no, an al yeah, I'm not really looking for an alliance with you, although it would prevent you from joining any uh, rebellions against me. Is that a good idea? I mean, she already likes me. Why would I want an alliance? Debt kills your army stats, make you not able to declare war. Well, that doesn't sound good, though. Lose all fabricate claim progress, but I would really like that. Besides, we'll pay off our debt in a couple of years. Oh, well, let's, let's try it out so we see what debt is like. Debt, you don't have any gold. This is very bad. You must cut your expenses and fill up your treasury as soon as possible. Being in debt prevents you from doing many things, such as declaring wars, reinforcing men-at-arms... 
You'll gain county corruption. Do not let debt spiral out of control. The most obvious thing to do is end any wars. When you're at peace, you don't have to pay upkeep. You're losing a lot of gold. You might even consider disbanding. If your faith permits, ask for gold. Already done that. Switch to wealth focus if you haven't done it already. I understand. Well, we'll only be in debt for about a year and a half. Let's see how county corruption grows based on that. Don't know. I do not know. As long as you're not planning on waging war, it's unimportant. Yeah, it's okay. I'm not, uh, I'm not opposed to going into debt in this game if it works that way. Now, if there was a take loan button, I might have second thoughts. Oh, it's so nice having land directly here. And unlike playing in Perm, which is a bit of playing I did off stream, it's nice to actually have these um, Republic vassals under you, because there's no real cities up here for you to dish out to Republics. Oh man, it's rough stuff. There's less going on here than a graveyard at noon. Is this text flavor, or does she actually think that there's nothing going on there? I don't know, I think you should keep it up, personally. There's bound to be something going on there. What about allying France? The, you don't ally France, though. You ally the king. Then king dies and alliance is gone. Or whoever you marry into. So, no, I don't have any such uh, things holding me back here. Country corruptions are negative modifiers applied by event. Well, that's okay. We'll be out of debt in less than 10 months. Sorry, fewer than 10 months. And you, you still only have an alliance with Cyprus. And I, I would love to slaughter Cyprus, but all in due time. Uh, are these two provinces connected? Out of here. Can you walk from here to here? Is there anything showing that? I mean, they are very close. I don't know if I need a boat, though. I'm unsure. You can. Okay. Raise an army and try. I'd rather not. I'm in debt. Horrible debt. Heresy. That sounds like a twisted mockery of faith to me. Oh, God, and they're close by. What are you doing, man? Well, that means if I capture you... Then it should be, uh, it should not be impious for me to kill you. And it should also murder your relations. And you're only allied with Rhodes, so I think Kibi are going to die in. Oh, my truce is up. My truce is all gone. You are going to die. Can we do a holy war now? I doubt that. But he'll... Oh, hey, we got autonomous vassals, which is probably good for me. I've swayed uh, my man, my giant man, here now, which means I could probably still imprison him, but let's let's not do that. Let's just end the swaying of him and try to find somebody else worth swaying. The ruler and his heresy. We will take care of that as soon as we claw our way out of debt. Don't you worry. Now, who's still worth swaying? Could always sway you, but uh, come on, you're getting on in years. I've already swayed you quite a bit, and I don't really care about you. Your heir, on the other hand, is a boy, so I can't sway him. Mm hmm. I've got a friendship going with you. Better check that religion map mode again. More dukes went heretical. Oh god, the bogos are spreading here. As long as it's spread into land that I want. Although, if it's a Christian heresy, we have ways of dealing with that. Oh, we are not looking so good right now. Where are those babies? Oh boy, we have genius granddaughter here. Hopefully you live long enough. We'll also rename you because Xena the warrior princess isn't the one that's going to be here. It's going to be Mr. Modesty. Good name for my granddaughter. The biggest of brains. Yeah, doesn't that naturally give her insane stats? Uh, children and children. Yeah, you know, normally she'd have, um, like, one, one, zero, one, one, but no, six, six, five, six, six. The only problem with you is that you are a woman, and there's no solving that. There's nothing going on here. Keep it up. There's bound to be something. Get me that land uh, nice and easily, please.
Yeah, lifestyle bonus, but uh, to which lifestyle, actually? Monthly lifestyle experience, so all of them. That's sweet. That's very sweet. So what you get when you have quick, quick, and genius together. Now keep pumping them out, please. No problem, just marry her to the next son that's born. Uh, maybe. Inbred can be a real pain, though, can't it? If you marry another genius, there's a 100% chance of inheritance. Well, if she could somehow mate with her own mother. If we could figure that one out. Right, th these guys need to die. I need to fight them, imprison you if possible, and... Somehow that'll result in great profit for me. You are allied with... Oh no, you're allied with my own count. Well, my count belongs to me, so he's not going to help you. Oh, that's swell. Thankfully, you're still Greek, though. And who is this that likes me more? Greetings, Pizzerific. I've been corresponding with Mayor... My Chancellor, Vassal, and uh, sure... Are you another... Yeah, you're another uh, Republican subject of mine. Hey-ho. Right, we're almost clawed our way out of debt. Then this duchy's going down. If you inbreed enough, you get a good trait. Pure-blooded. Oh, I've seen that. It looks great. But you got to get through a lot of horrible inbreds. But I guess you can just send them off or somehow get rid of them. What wounded you? What are you getting up to there, Count? Maybe she was wounded for a while, though. Nothing going on. Well, check it out once more. Oh, we've died. However, that does mean we get to play as McCaig and we're younger and hopefully more aggressive here. And we're quick, but our stats are pretty bad. Let's continue on. Let's see what he's up to. There's a lot of stuff to sort out here, no doubt. Right, McCaig, seduce that woman. Perhaps romance her instead? Become my soulmate. Soulmate sounds actually pretty good, but it doesn't result in kids now, does it? Regardless, let's become soulmatey, because I haven't done that before. As for the daughter, the daughter must be... Oh, you got to wait till they're six to look over them, and I keep missing that. I could do with a little uh, poppy-up thing before that. Uh, we gotta, we've got two friends. Two... Uh... A knight and a courtier as a friend. Not too shabby. Lifestyle for you. You're better at diplomacy, so let's just give it a go. And you've been working your way through Augustus. Prestige per knight. Prestige per dread. Sway scheme power. Is that really what I want, though? When I could be befriending people. True ruler. Awful vassalization. Commission epic decision. Fame impact. Level of fame and the August is diplomacy, martial, and prestige. Well, whatever, we'll carry on down it. Augustus is quite unremarkable if you're not tribal yet, because tribals use prestige for everything. Now, on the other hand, diplomat is personal scheme power and independent ruler uh, opinion. Patriarch. Oh, right, we do want some family going on. A lot of family, so we should go for, uh, for this one. Otherwise, foreign affairs, majesty, or family focus... I want to pump out a ton of kids, so let's go with a family. Keep it in the family. Okay, now we lost some land there. I didn't want to lose it so quickly, but we did. As it stands, our own personal uh, holdings is only one. Oh, that's bad. Is that because the rest went to our, uh, our brother? Yeah, jeez, he got both of those. What else do we not have? Mm, that is right. Well, the brother took those, which is a damn shame. And I wouldn't mind them back. But I don't have a hook on him, and he's a powerful uh, guy. I'm, I'm going to put him on... Wow, well, he doesn't like me? Short reign once can't... Well, yeah, let's keep our, buzz uh, our brother a little bit friendly here. Fortunately, we have a Chancellor position open, and you end up being the best. He's only my half-brother, though. Mm -hmm. Well, you're getting it anyway, Ugo. As for a steward... Well, what do the other subjects think? You hate my guts still. Opinion of predecessor carries over? Oh, I didn't realize that. 
but it goes away in five years or so. Interesting, I wasn't aware that was a, a thing. So I guess you can't be a tyrant and then just pass it up. Huh. Okay, you are not paying me anything, giant man, so you need to be swayed. Oh, but I'm trying to romance. Short range should go away very quickly. Make your spy master like you ASAP. There's a way to do that. You're half decent at your job, though, so I don't really want you to be... Uh... Where's my send your gift? Oh, right, I don't have the money for gifting. In fact, we're incredibly low on money and making almost no money. That's rubbish. Probably because of the lack of those holdings. Okay. I think it's most important to sort out the money situation, and I'm going to do that by swaying you. Uh, the steward should actually help us make some money. Get, get that away from me. Mm, I don't want to... Wait, you're my marshal, aren't you? And I want to keep you as my marshal. My knight... Oh god, they're all pretty terrible at it, but that's still better than nothing. Put the Chancellor on boosting the opinion of people in your realm for an instant boost. Let's make sure that you uh, increase everything in Naxos. How's Naxos looking, by the way? Development 11. Keep it going. Uh, get domestic affairs, please. Declaration of love. The time has come to let my feelings towards the Duchess be known. I want to remember this day for the rest of... Uh... Oh, she needs to remember it. What is she into? She's intelligent, greedy, stubborn, and lazy. I'm uh, devotion... Mm. Well, what am I good at, anyway? Diligence... Diligence and diplomacy, so I'm sure my poems will work uh, work wonders. Mm-hmm, your round eyes are like pretty little pebbles. I only... I wish only to watch you sleep. The waiting's unbearable. I cannot encourage you. I'm most grateful for your kind words. She won't resist me for a long. Okay, sure. Sure thing. How does she have both genius and chit and quick? Well, the only thing is, I wish she was intelligent as well. Hmm. Spymaster not liking me is a problem, but we should be getting on that soon enough, right? Well, I can only get up to 6.5 uh, opinion. Hmm. Well, look, we just got uh, we just got endorsed by him, and the money went way up. Trained healer, oh, that's good learning. But I don't have space for a physician right now. Don't have the budget for it. Did the bishop you just start swaying get switched somehow, or he just changed clothes? Hmm. Wasn't that what he was always dressed as? Now, what to do with you? Because I still wish to fight you, but I am horribly low on money right now. Could I ask my head of state for gold? Oh no, oh god, where's my prestige? What did I spend my prestige on? Because that means that I won't be able to declare war. Wait, did you lose this? Because I do want that. Oh, don't tell me that was unpressed claim. No, it can't be, because I hold the Duchy of Naxus. So why is this not mine? Seize the Duchy of Naxus, seize the County of... Okay, but I can't seem to just... Yeah, there it is. Seize the County of that. That's what I want to do. Their strength is superior to ours, because I don't still have the... the um... I just don't have the alliance with Streamon again. Personal diplomacy is all well and good, but you, you I would actually like to have as my ally again. So perhaps I can arrange a marriage with you to get an alliance... But who? My daughter and heir could marry your uh, Gabriel in a matrilineal... Ah, go figure. Ah, right, because that's the only male. Then I find that... Whoa, I thought we had this uh, paused here. I can arrange a marriage with you, 
with um, hmm thought I had a male to marry off like my no you're just my half brother Ooh. trying to think what could be done to net us that alliance I mean, I could still arrange a marriage with you, with my daughter non-matrilineally. Mr. Modesty is happy, we get the alliance, uh, but it won't be born into our house. And I kind of throw away this great piece of genetic meat. So I don't want to do that. Especially if I can't do it matrilineally. So I have to hope that you pop out another, uh, another boy and I'll get that matrilineally. Because then they won't be next in line, and they might end up being next in line. Regardless, though, we got another one on the way, so that could well work in our favor. I want this, but gosh, do I need prestige. And I don't have the money to do many things that would uh, net me that. And pilgrimages cost money. Keep finding those secrets. I want something on the roads to take it away from them. Okay, we're in a bit of a pickle because we can't really declare those wars. And hang on, did I lose my claim on you because of... Yep. Ah, oh, I made that claim and I didn't actually act on it. Because it was unpressed. At least you have a new heir that isn't your liege. Well, you have an heir that's not your liege. So I will still want to fight you. Do you personally have a lot of money? Yeah, then if I fight you, win, and ransom you away, that could work in our favor quite a lot. But for me to fight, I generally need to take boats. And that's a problem. Because I can't afford them. Yeah, fabricated claims die with the rule. I didn't think he would die that fast, but die he did. Do you have claims on your brother's land? Revoke it. I mean, I can certainly revoke those titles, right? But uh, he's not going to accept. And then he would rise up against me, and that I would not like. It's not the end of the world if my brother holds on to these. He will eventually die, and I'm his primary heir. Uh, unfortunately, oh, well, they're not getting it on. That's pretty swell. Still, if they pop out some robust and uh, fertile children, then that still just gives me more people to play with. Right, you're still the one that I should be declaring war on soon. And your alliance with my own, uh, my own subject here is meaningless, isn't it? Right? There's no way he'd rise up against me since he's my um, my subject, right? Alright, you know you know best. Get yourself back here. Uh, I managed to sway you, did I not? You look pretty swayed to me. So I'm going to start swaying you instead. And then I will uh, get soul matey with my own... Oh wait, I'm... Oh crap, was I already doing that? I was, wasn't I? And I just cancelled it. No? Yes? Maybe? I can't remember. Ah, excellent. Just what I was asking for. Another son is here. Uh, <laughs> name him after Pizza Rific. I think not. We're going to call you uh, Dragon Zord. Good strong name. Now, how are you genetically? Another genius. A son who's a genius. Excellent. Well then. Wellity well then. And you have had yourself a second son. Also excellent. I wish to arrange a marriage with my daughter, Matrilin... Oh, yes. Mr. Modesty, get in there. And then all we have to do is kill off... Uh... Wait, can't we do it with a seven-year-old daughter instead? Or are they already betrothed? They're not. I want to arrange your marriage. Oh wait, no, because that's a daughter, of course. I was looking at the second son. Son, other son, marriage with you, with my daughter. Could still pop out a genius, matrilineal. That is great. Now, you just need to die. <laughs> 